Well, good afternoon, everyone. On this Super Bowl Sunday, welcome to another edition of Come Dine With Me, Western New York, brought to you in part by Diamond Cutters of Western New York and Ventura's Car Star Collision. I'm Oliver Wolf. And I'm Jan Farrington. And on today's show, Chef Art Christie joins us in the kitchen with Valentine's Day just a week away. How about this year surprising your significant other with a tasty home-cooked meal? And you know, Chef, I could even use some inspiration here, but not right. too complicated, please. Well, Chef Art has the recipe for that with his rendition of Chateau of Beef Tenderloin with gold shrimp. And man, listen up, it's really easier than you might think. Oh, <laughs> love will definitely be in the air. <laughs> and then, Chef, tomorrow is the start of the Chinese New Year. Yes. And who better to feature on the program than Chef Peter from the beautiful Koi restaurant right here at Seneca Niagara Resort and Casino. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know anybody better to cook for me for Chinese New Year. You know, having the traditional aspect, but then also, you know, he gives it his own twist a little bit. It's, uh, you know, he's a very, very talented chef and his meals are always spot on. They're I know very, they very are. Flavorful, In so. fact, tomorrow, I believe, is the start of the Chinese New Year, mm -hmm. which is symbolic of the letting go of the past and welcoming new beginnings, which is kind of like our January 1st New Year's, right? It, it certainly is. And each year, the Chinese New Year uh, calendar is named after an animal. This year, it's the year of the monkey. Yes, and they do some celebrations, don't Aww, they? Dragon absolutely. dances and street fairs are very popular. Dancers even dress up as lions and dragons and they perform for onlookers. On Chinese New Year, everybody is a year older and it doesn't matter when you were born, it's like a national birthday, really. Exactly, some interesting traditions there. Well, what do you say then? Let's head into our studio at Artisan Kitchens and Baths and get things started. Gong hei fan choi. Gong hei fan choi, chef. Happy Chinese New Year, Peter. Happy Chinese New Year. <laughs> All chef. right. What are you preparing for Chinese New Year? I know it's very festive. We prepare the bok choy, bell pepper, snow pepper, stocky mushroom, carrots, and seafood. We have a king crab today and fish. That's the most important in Chinese. And scallop and jumbo pan. Beautiful yeah. jumbo prawns that you have there, fantastic. We can add some like cooking wine in the water. Now what kind of cooking wine is that, Most Peter? Most a Chinese cooking wine. Same as like a cooking sherry wine? Yes. Okay. So all you really do, Peter, here is, is blanch them, blanch yep. the vegetables a little bit. It speeds up the stir-fry yep. process, right, right. Peter? Right, speed okay. up. Mm -hmm. Put a scallop and a shrimp in oil okay. for what 30 seconds. What kind of oil are you using? A peanut oil? Or? Uh, most of we use uh, salad oil. Okay. Yes. What do you say, about 350 degrees yeah, probably? Yeah, probably 350 degrees yep. and deep fry look nice. That's the scallop and the shrimp. Yeah. Okay, now we ready to pit the walks are hot. We get some oil. Ginger. Garlic. Some scallion. I wish you were here and could smell this. It's awesome. <laughs> that, that's a lot of and flavor, now, Peter. You got a vegetable. Your blanched vegetables. Yep. Stir up. You can add a seafood in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I take yeah. that off your hand, sir. And also pink crab. And the crab meat. Yes. Okay, now we should get some cooking wine. Some more cooking wine, okay. This one here? Yes. Okay, so we got a little chicken base in there. Nickel chicken base and chicken broth and some oyster sauce. And a little and bit of oyster sauce, yes. okay. A little bit of sugar. And some sugar, okay. Yes. And you blended that all up Blend with like up. cold water? We can use a chicken, uh, chicken broth. Chicken broth, okay. Yes. Got more flavor. Very good. Yes. And now we add some corn starch. Okay, we have some cornstarch slurry. Yes. It's just a little cornstarch that you 
stir up with cold water. Yes. Okay, very good. You can sesame oil later. Little Tastes sesame good. oil. Very good flavor, very good aroma. Peter, this looks great. Let me get a good try you. here. Full seafood flavor. Yes. You get a little bit of the sesame, mm -hmm. the oyster sauce, and they're really, really good. Now, Peter, in Koi, we have the flavors of Asia all right. under one roof, right? Yes, so this right. Be nice, relaxing atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You can sit there, enjoy a sushi, or you know, have something or from the noodle bar. Or Asian any. cuisine. Fantastic. And for Chinese New Year, of course, you do. We have a one menu. special menu for Chinese New Year. Celebrate Gong Hei Fa Choi. Gong Hei Fa Choi, yeah. Peter. Gong Hei Fa New Year Sifu Yong Chan. Or come down with me, Western New York. Yes. This portion of the program was sponsored in part by Key Video Productions, Television, Video, DVD, and by Diamond Cutters of Western New York. To go to a more direct source, you'll need a miner's hat. Let Diamond Cutters of Western New York save you money while providing only the very highest quality, beautiful diamonds. From the mines to a ring, a diamond may change hands several times before it reaches your finger. Each middleman adds a little more cost to your diamond. But for the past 35 years, our gemologists have traveled the world to bring uncut diamonds back to Buffalo, where we specialize in cutting and polishing, so we virtually eliminate the middleman. Our name says it all, Diamond Cutters. Visit WNYDiamonds.com to learn more. Lockport's favorite restaurant and meeting place, the Village Eatery Italian Bistro serves the finest pizza, pasta, chicken, veal, and seafood. Our famous Friday night fish fry, homemade Italian bread, and old world sauce have kept Western New Yorkers coming back for over 35 years. Check out our vast wine selection and visit the Bistro Bar for a signature martini. For really great Italian American food, it's the Village Eatery Italian Bistro. TV doesn't have to be expensive to be memorable. It's all about finding that unique hook that will get your business noticed. People are always surprised that they can be on TV so inexpensively. And then, after the spot is produced, we can help get it on any broadcast or cable station and even your website. We have an entire team working behind the scenes to help your business stand out. That kind of attention is priceless. We call it concept to completion, and Key Video is ready to go to work for you. With Valentine's Day just right around the corner, why not impress your significant other with something more than just a box of chocolate? I have a dish here that we use at Frontier Catering that I'm gonna show you how to prepare to really amp up your cooking skills. We're gonna start off with a chateau of tenderloin of beef. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a nice crust of salt, and this is uh, fresh ground sea salt, and fresh cracked black pepper. And this will give us a nice crust. We're also gonna do the other side real quickly as well. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some extra virgin olive oil, you can use canola oil if you wish. And I have a very, very hot pan here. So we're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil on here. We're gonna get this nice and hot. That's okay if it's smoking, that's what we want. And what we're gonna do is you can hear the sear and we're just gonna sear the outsides of both sides and then finish it in the oven. Now that our tenderloin's uh, roasting happily in the oven, we're gonna make our sauce. Now watch how easy this is. First, we're gonna take a very, very hot pan. We're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil, probably enough to just coat the bottom of the pan. A Couple little tw turns around the pan is all you really need. Okay. And to that, we're gonna add our pancetta. Now pancetta, as you know, is basically Italian bacon that's not smoked. And what it does is it gives you a really, really nice flavor. To that, we're going to take some uh, finely chopped white onions, okay, and we're going to saute those. And again, just a couple spins around a pan is really all you need to do. To that, we're going to add some fresh garlic. This is just some fresh chopped garlic, and you want to put that in at this particular stage rather than before because you don't want to burn the garlic. Once you burn the garlic, it turns very, very bitter, and you'll ruin the dish. So just put a little garlic in there. It's got a little pad. And to that, we're gonna add some, uh, this is a uh, commercial grade 
You can use regular bouillon if you wish, but this is just the chicken base. Okay, we're going to just add that, swirl it around. To that, we're going to add some fresh Genovese uh, pesto. And the Genovese pesto is the pesto without the pine nuts. Now, if you like the ones with the pine nuts, you can use them. Because of the fact I'm in the catering business and we deal with so many different kinds of people with so many different dietary restrictions and so many different allergies today, we opted not to put the pine nuts in the pesto. This is a, a, a homemade basil pesto. To that, we're going to add some white wine. And what that's going to do is it's going to pick up all of the what's called fond, F-O-N-D, which French translates to bottom. That's where all the concentration of the food sources are. So what you want to do is you want to get that. It releases it from the bottom of the pan. And quite honestly, that's where the highest concentration of your flavors are. So you can see now my pan is just about clean, just like it was when we started. Now we're just going to reduce that for just a little minute or two, and that eliminates any of the alcohol that's in it. To that, we're going to take a couple of fresh squeezed lemons. Now, if you prefer to use lemon juice, you can certainly do that. I like to use a little fresh squeezed lemon. Adds a little elegance to the dish, I believe. And to that, we're going to take some uh, julienne sliced sun-dried tomatoes. Now, these are the ones that are not in the oil. We don't want to have any additional flavor added to it. And of course, to that, we took a roasted red pepper. You can use yellow, but not green because it's a little bit bitter. This has a natural sweetness to it. It's roasted, cooled, julienned, and then diced into small chunks. And we're going to add that to the mix. We're going to give that a nice quick stir. All the flavors are nice and blended. Okay, to that, we're going to hit it with a little fresh ground black pepper. And you can do this to taste. There really is no proportion to it. It's however you like it. If you don't like black pepper in it, you don't have to put it in. But you don't need to put any salt in it, any additional salt, because that uh, comes out of the uh, chicken base that we used. And then to finish the dish, we're going to take a reduction of heavy cream. Now what this is is basically just butter and cream reduced. You can just put it in there. I happen to like it reduced. Adds a little thickening to it. And again, the beauty of this dish is you can make it days and weeks ahead of time. You can freeze it. You can thaw it out. It comes out absolutely perfect. And all you want to do at this point now is just blend all of the ingredients together. And your sauce is made. That's it. Pretty simple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some uh, fresh butter and we're going to saute it. And to that we're going to add our shrimp. And I'm just going to use about, I'm cooking for two, so I'm going to use about eight pieces, four per person, which is going to be plenty. Once it turns pink, you'll flip it over, cook it for a couple of seconds on the other side, and you're ready to go. this Valentine's Day, score some big points. Instead of doing the traditional flowers and candy, make this lovely, lovely dish. You can do the flowers and the candy too, and maybe even the big ring. And when you do that, that's when you call me, and I'll make this dish for all of your guests on your wedding day. So come dine with me, Western New York. Oh, great job, Chef Art. I think I can handle that. And you know, you can find this dish and all of the dishes that are prepared on our program right on our Facebook page. Go ahead, press that like button, and you'll instantly be entered to win valuable gift certificates from Come Dine With Me Western New York restaurant sponsors. What could be better than that? There's lots happening in the restaurant world and here at the resort, right, Chef? That's right, Jen, that's right. We got uh, the Peking Acrobats coming in for the Chinese New Year. It's February 12th and 13th. They are performing here at the event center. And they are amazing athletes, wow. And on February 18th, I'll be right here waiting, Richard Marks <laughs> Solo. He'll be in the Bears' Den. And did you know he just got married? He married Daisy Fuentes. I did not know that. <laughs> we must not read the same magazines, Probably I guess. Probably not. <laughs> Reading all the culinary stuff. 
And then on February 26th, Tracy Morgan, and that should be a real, real fun show at the Seneca Niagara Event Center as well. Though. Exactly. And coming up from Artists in Kitchens and Baths, our own Jeff Rexinger, aka Grill Boy. Grill He's going to be here to show us some grilling techniques that work any time of the year, even in February. How cool is that? That's after the break. Let's stay with us. information on the most wanted sandwiches in Western New York. <coughs> I'll make this brief. These sandwiches were last seen at Marco's Italian Deli. Be on the lookout for Nikki Whispers. Big, beefy, surprisingly sweet. Maya Gomati, a spicy little number. Everyone wants to get their hands on. And the underboss, notorious and nearly impossible to knock off. If you see these sandwiches, do not, I repeat, do not apprehend them alone. They are extremely tasty. And no further questions at this time. Thank you. You'll feel right at home in Western New York's most interactive showroom. How interactive is up to you. Whether you know exactly what you want, or you need a little help with the creative process, our interactive showroom and hands-on design team make it easy and fun. Let artisan kitchens and baths make the possibilities come to life in your home. Visit us at 200 Amherst Street in Buffalo. Welcome to Savoy. Today we are presenting the Cider Maiden. Cider is a Western New York fall essential, and we here at Savoy thought it was time to bring it to our bar. The ingredients are rye, black rum, allspice infused orange syrup, apple cider, two dashes of old fashioned bitters, and garnished with cinnamon dusted apple wedge. In your mixing glass, add two ounces of rye, one ounce of black rum, three-fourths of an ounce of apple cider, one ounce of allspice infused orange syrup, and two dashes of old-fashioned bitters. Add ice to the mixing glass and shake vigorously. Now use your hawthorn strainer and pour mixed liquids into your rocks glass. To garnish, slice an apple wedge and dust with cinnamon and place into your drink. So come on down to Savoy and try the cider mate. After all, you know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I'm Brett Brennan and I'm the chef at Ocean Restaurant and you're watching Come Dine With Me Western New York. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm from Artisan Kitchens and Bath. I'm here today with Joe. Joe's one of our newest Big Green Egg customers. We're going to do a little pork loin on the Big Green Egg today. Joe, are you excited? I'm really excited. I've never done uh, as much outdoor cooking since I've gotten this. It's just taken over my life virtually. The Big Green Egg is a cooking appliance for outdoors because it has such a great ability at range of temperature. The egg itself can go from 200 degrees all the way up to about 1100 degrees. You can't do that with anybody else's grill. My favorite thing about the egg is being able to control the temperature in a charcoal environment. Well, the charcoal flavor is totally unique. It makes meat and vegetables even taste so different than with gas. But I like to use different uh, flavored woods. This one is hickory. The beauty of, of the egg is that not only is it going to cook, but it's going to smoke. Today we cooked a really great pork loin and then along with that we did some asparagus and a pepper medley with Vidalia onions and some corn. It was really tremendous. We're going to marinate this pork tenderloin first in a combination of olive oil, a little balsamic, some honey whiskey, a little of this because you know the alcohol when you put alcohol in it you know how it cooks off. 
And next we'll just empty this organic soy sauce in here and some poison sauce. A little fresh ground pepper. Uh, just a little tweak of salt in here, even though the soy sauce is uh, enough salt. Just close this lid down like that and snap it. That's it. Joe has a marinator that allowed us to extract all the air out of this device and marinate the pork loin in a very short period of time. We set this aside and probably in oh, 30 minutes or so, everything's gonna be ready to go. When we got here, Joe had the green egg fired up already. Then we put the vegetables and the corn on, the little bit of hickory wood that he put in there for flavor. Steamed vegetables are great, but now you add that flavor of the charcoal to it, it really makes a difference. I think the key to making pork tenderloin is not overcooking it and keeping it in a high heat initial temperature and then dropping the heat and letting it cook slowly within. When you sear the pork loin, the natural sugars that were in the hoisin sauce from the raisins really create a caramelization that seals the juice into the meat product. Joe, it smells amazing. I think it might be done. I think you're right, Jeff. Let's give it a shot. The flavor of the vegetables and the meat all infused with the smoke and the charcoal flavor from the grill just made for a succulent meal. Cheers. The meal was great. We sat on Joe's deck, enjoyed the pork loin and the sunshine and the beautiful backyard setting at Joe's house. I couldn't have enjoyed the meal more. Welcome to Ilya Nepal's restaurant. It's a family affair here as we carry on tradition with my grandfather of serving great food, sharing stories, talking sports, and celebrating with friends and family at the Ringside Lounge. Hi, I'm Spencer, and I've been coming here for years and years with my girlfriends. So many years, in fact, I think I'm becoming a part of this building. I actually tend to consider myself a regular here. I've met a lot of great people at Ilio de Palos, some deep conversations with people that you can never get anywhere else. Our favorite things to do when we come to Ilio de Palos, we love to share many traditional Italian crafts of wine, and our favorite dishes to share with each other are the meatball parmesan and the crab cakes. A great appetizer to start off with are crab cakes. Our crab cakes are served with mixed salad greens, balsamic vinaigrette with some roasted red pepper, and it's one of my favorites. But everything's one of my favorites. If you and your friends are really hungry, I suggest the meatball parmesan. First off, we start with our homemade meatballs. Then we pour on the house sauce. And then we smother it with mozzarella cheese and bake it to perfection. It's the best in town. I guarantee it. My favorite time to go to Iliad Palace is definitely during girls' night. I love to catch up on laughs, talk about the work week, and have some great drinks at the Ringside Lounge. It's always a great day at Ilio de Palos. We'll see you at the Ringside Lounge. Closed captioning provided by Eyes on Harlem and Eyes Downtown. Better vision for a better life. And by Car Star Relax. We'll take it from here. At Ventura's Car Star Collision, we work hard to make the repair process easy. Our highly trained technicians will restore your vehicle to pre-accident condition in no time. And we provide exceptional customer service. But you don't have to take our word for it. There's only one name to remember. Ventura's Car Star Collision. Relax. We'll take it from here. Some say it's our amazing sports bar. Others, our relaxed and comfortable dining room. And then there are those who say it's our private meeting and banquet rooms where we take care of everything. Whatever draws you to Buffalo's best grill and catering, one thing's for certain, you'll always get a great meal. We pride ourselves on our casual atmosphere with very comfortable prices. Buffalo's best grill and catering, Southwestern Boulevard in Orchard Park. Stop in today and see why we're Buffalo's best. You change your style. Why not your eye color? Comfort, breathability, stunning natural beauty. 
Whether you're in front of the lens or behind, your eyes tell a lot about you. Which color best suits your look? Well, that's up to you. Air Optics Colors Contact Lenses, available at Eyes on Harlem and Eyes Downtown. Better vision for a better life. We're winding down another show, but before we go, just a couple of reminders. If you want the complete recipes you saw today, or you want to catch any of our past episodes, they're all available on our Facebook page. And when dining out this week, consider supporting your local independent restaurants. Thanks for joining us today from the Key Video Television crew and everybody here at Come Dine With Me Western New York. I'm Oliver Wolf. And I'm Jan Farrington. Enjoy the rest of your Super Bowl Sunday and remember, good rules. With Frontier Catering, it's easy to show your good taste. Chef Art Christie uses time-tested techniques and authentic family recipes to create a custom menu that showcases your personal style and your venue. And with Frontier Catering, your food is prepared fresh, on-site. For corporate events, unforgettable weddings, and other signature celebrations, it has to be Frontier Catering. TV doesn't have to be expensive to be memorable. It's all about finding that unique hook that will get your business noticed. People are always surprised that they can be on TV so inexpensively. And then, after the spot is produced, we can help get it on any broadcast or cable station and even your website. We have an entire team working behind the scenes to help your business stand out. That kind of attention is priceless. We call it concept to completion, and Key Video is ready to go to work for you. You change your style, why not your eye color? Comfort, breathability, stunning natural beauty. Whether you're in front of the lens or behind, your eyes tell a lot about you. Which color best suits your look? Well, that's up to you. Air Optics Colors Contact Lenses, available at Eyes on Harlem and Eyes Downtown. Better vision for a better life. At Ventura's Car Star Collision, we work hard to make the repair process easy. Our highly trained technicians will restore your vehicle to pre-accident condition in no time. And we provide exceptional customer service. But you don't have to take our word for it. There's only one name to remember. Ventura's Car Star Collision. Relax. We'll take it from here.